Hello and welcome back to another part of design your own level tutorial. In this tutorial I just want to take a little bit of a break in the creation process and what we're basically going to do is just test out our models inside of Unreal Engine 4. So we've come quite a way, now we just need to test the models to see if they actually do work. So what I'm going to do is just on this point here I'm going to hide the high polygon models and I'm going to export both of these models individually. So let's click export as FBX and I'm going to call this, this is the couch side um, model. Let's just type, call it the model. And then selected objects, you want to highlight that. Geometries, you want to change that to edge. Your smoothing groups and then under armature you just want to deselect add leaf bones. Um, that is not necessary because we don't really we don't have an animated mesh but if you do you want to deselect that it does cause some bugs later on so just make a habit of deselecting that if you have an animated object. We're going to click export and then we're going to do the same with this one over here. So all the objects should actually still be highlighted. Uh, we're just going to call this CB. FBX. Obviously we can actually export everything together and then separate them inside of Unreal Engine 4 but for this um, I just want to show you so that we can repeat the same process twice. Um, a quick note, just something to note is that Blender sets the origin of your model not as the origin that you have it in Blender but as the origin of the world. So if you hit Shift C that is the center point of the world, that will be the origin of your model. So if I import this into Unreal Engine 4, my model will be over here and its pivot point will be over there. And the same with this one, the pivot point will be over there. You can see that, uh, we'll quickly show you what that looks like. But just bear that in mind that if you want to um, have the pivot point on the corner, you have to move the model's corner to like the center part of the world. So let's just quickly, uh, see what I meant so I'm gonna click import so this is the model and both of the um, normal maps so we're gonna click import there we go we're not going to change any options just import it as normal just one option that we want to change on the normal map because this is an open GL normal map we want to flip the green channel so that it displays correctly inside of Unreal because Unreal and uh, um, the Unreal I'm using here uses DirectX and everything will seem inverted. So sometimes if you have a model and the color is very dark um, or the normal map is very dark and it's giving a lot of strange shadows, just go into your normal map and try and flip the green channel and see if that works. Okay, so that is done. So now I'm just going to create a new material. So let's click over to material. We'll call this CB Matte. If I can type and I'm just going to enable CB mat click apply and uh, we are going to just create another material and CS CS mat and I notice I said enable earlier what I meant is you connect your normal map there we go so uh, what we can do is then just open a model, click on CS mat and apply it. It's going to be very dark because we don't have a color currently set to our base color, but there's a reason for that and I will show you just now. So we just use that content, click save, and now we can drag them both into the world. Okay, so once again, they don't have any color, but we can actually see the normal map. Those are some cool looking black couches, but... Um, we want to change this a little bit but here you can see what I meant by the pivot point so you can see that is exactly where I said the pivot point would be and with this one exactly the same so just um, getting back to that again remember to um, set where you want your pivot point to be put your model in the center of the world or center of the scene inside of Blender okay so what I want to do here is actually I want to import a texture now I've already downloaded the texture and let's quickly get to the 
So let me just bring up, this is the texture I downloaded. I downloaded from textures.com or cgtextures.com. Um, Fabric Plane 0077, I will put this in a link in the description below. I downloaded this texture because it was seamless and it's fairly small, but for what we're doing here, we do not need that much detail. And the only reason why this texture just applied to our model will actually work is because our model is created in a very square way and our UV islands are set up in a very square way. So it will not particularly work on a, on a round model. It might not work at all in, in another process, but I found that with this process, it does actually work. So let's quickly open up our one material. We're just going to drag the texture in. And we're going to click apply and let's see what that looks like. Okay, well, that's a little bit big. So I think what we can do here is we are going to right click and type in texture coordinate. And I'm going to set its value over here. U and UV tiling 8 by 8. And we can feed this in and click apply. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That looks pretty good. Actually, that looks... I think this might actually be the same texture that they've used in side of Mirror's Edge. Um, or something very, very similar. So there we go. So now we just repeat the process with the other one. Drag it in. Feed it into the base color. Type in texture coordinate feed that into the UV and set the size 8 by 8 and click apply and close them both out and there's our couch and you can see that we do actually have our normal map applied over there but now you think that we need the other side of the couch so well if we want the other side of the couch all we need to do is select this one hold alt drag it off to the right and we're going to set the scale, the Y scale, which is the green one, to negative 1. And there we go. We have our other side of the couch. And now, obviously, you can play around. What we can do is we can duplicate these. We can slap them together. And then we rotate them. And then we have another couch. There we go. So that is a fairly easy process. Now, um, as I said, I just wanted everyone to see what this looks like. In the next video, we will just quickly carry on with this and we will finish this model off completely. Uh, this was just to give you an idea of what your end result will look like so that you can go, oh, okay, well, now I actually see where you're going with this. So you can see that there is minimal, very minimal, um, texture seams over here, but that is just because of the texture itself. The, this texture was actually very handy of the way that it was set up, and I'm actually very glad I got it on the first try. So, uh, if you guys like what you saw, leave a like, please subscribe, you can leave a comment, or you can leave a dislike, it really doesn't matter, but I appreciate you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.